hello there. Um, not really supposed to be doing anything because uh, Cindy's up here for the weekend, but um, I'm just doing a little bit of pre preparing because when Cindy goes home tomorrow after lunchtime, I'm going to crack on and get the uh, get the shower area tiled. But what I'm doing now is these are the tiles. I'm just getting them unpacked because with all tiling, it's a good practice to take stuff out of the packets and then shuffle it all up. So that's what I'm doing now, it's just pre-shuffling these tiles ready. I've done a bit of setting out as well. Oh, we've got one falling apart there, come off somewhere, split. Um, ready, so they're all mixed up, ready to go like, you know. I've never done this with a camera person before. But anyway, have you made the tea yet, Cindy? Not yet. No. Because Cindy's going to make me a cup of tea and cut the cake for me today, so I haven't got to do my own cake. And there we go. So yeah, these are all going to be mixed up, ready to go. Nice. Get your coat off, don't get too hot. Nice. Right, that's it. Cindy's now heading back down south, back to Paul in Dorset. Um, so yeah, for me, it's back to work and crack on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with the tiling and just that for the fun of it, I'm going to see how much tiling without rushing I can get up before she phones me to say she's got home. Um, it's really cold here today. It's lovely sunny and bright, but bloody freezing. Hi, or oh, good afternoon. Um, yeah, tiling. We're going to get cracking on some tiling now in the shower. So basically, what I'm using, I'm using this Mappy Keraquick, which is a rapid setting adhesive. I'm also going to put this additive into it, which makes it quite a flexible adhesive because any vibrations coming through the boat, you know, it'll help it stay on a lot better. Uh, basically, you've got to use four of these containers to. 20 kilos of that so basically what I've done I've divided it into four so I can mix one bottle at a time with the appropriate amount of adhesive because you only get about half hour working time of it before it starts going off so that's the plan I've already cut the tiles for the first row at the bottom so I'm going to put it on to um, time lapse and we'll see how we get on update I've got all the uh, back wall or the main wall all stuck up now um, I've rough cut in the floor so they're all cut to size now and the bottom back there is stuck um, so yeah I'm quite pleased where I've got to tonight I don't know I might carry on yet I might get a second win um, but yeah I think they'll look all right there might be a bit of a bug of the grout up but uh, I'm quite pleased with them yeah, morning, Monday morning, um, back on the tiles. I didn't crack on last night. I thought, actually, you know, let's do this in the morning because it's not good to rush tiling, really. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just going to mix up some more um, of the mix, which I say was by Mappet, Keraquick. Now, as I say, it's not really little. It's just that I've, I've measured it out. I divided the bag into four because... Um, use a quarter of a bag with um, one bottle of that. I've just realised I've done it wrong. I should have put the stuff in first but never mind. Can only go wrong can't it? So yeah, I'm just going to mix this up and as I say you ain't got a lot of time left. It's not too bad this weather. Set up. 
and then I'm going to put it on fast on time lapse. Right, and there we go, that's that all mixed up, nice consistency. And that's enough in there that's gonna do me down the back wall. Then I can drop the, the base in. And then I'll also do the half for the fireplace because that's that's going in the same. So anyway, I'm gonna shut you down now, put you on, uh, I always get it very not slow motion. go there's a half in just got to be grouted up now um, and there we go that's all the shower area done right round and down the sides so I'm glad to get out of the way actually it's 12 o'clock Monday lunchtime um, although I can tile reasonably well um, I've done so much of it in the past, so I don't really particularly like doing it now, but anyway, that's done and out of the way, so all I've got to do is grout up, but I think they're going to be a bit of a bugger to grout up, because they've got quite a lot of texture on them, but there we go. Might yeah, go. hello there, uh, Monday evening, um, I've put some sealer on the tiles, so I can't really get on and grout them, so, till tomorrow, so I'm concentrating up the front end of the boat here now, and basically I'm just getting the water tank connections done um, you can see in there I'm just uh, sorting out for the uh, Jebsco 3.5 pressure pump which uh, there it is there um, and I've got a pump guard going on there which is a filter basically to filter the water before it goes into the pump but I need a few fittings so I'm gonna jump in the van and get on down to um, screw fix and get a few fittings so I can get that in because then once the, once I've got that in I can then do the framework here and get some this insulate get all the tank insulated and then uh, I expect perhaps later on this we'll be getting these doors done um, but I will grout up the tiling tomorrow speak to you all later yeah, well, there we go I've got me pump installed now um, yeah that's where it's going up there out the way it's all easily dismantled and get out of ball um, because I won't be having a piece of fitted furniture in here in this corner it'll be a loose piece so it'll be a little trap door so we can get in there to get there for maintenance but uh, anyway I'm gonna call it a night now because uh, it's nine o'clock and I think I've had enough good morning everybody Tuesday morning got a little Drop of snow here at the yard. Um, nothing too much to worry about. Anyway, I'm getting on inside, getting on with the grout. Yeah, I've done, got the first bit on the grout on the half. Um, now I'm coming up around the shower cubicle. Hopefully I've got yeah, enough. Um, yeah, it's really starting to chuck the snow down now. I just got back from screw fits because I'd run out of grout. Um, and yeah, I've been back in the boat about 10 minutes and then we've got nearly a good inch of snow here already. Um, so yeah, I've got enough to get on with anyway. I've got enough, uh, enough supplies in. Um, yeah, we're getting on with the grout here. As I say, I, I don't know what went wrong. I just didn't get enough grout, but, uh, there we go. It's all on the all on the go now. So I'll have that buttoned up in a little while. Over there, Tuesday afternoon. Um, I'm still playing about with the grouting. It's all coming on really well. Um, just needs a good clean up. But because it's 
it's slate it does take a lot of cleaning but uh, in between that now I'm in the in the um, what do you call it the saloon and I'm just putting the um, fireproof panels on the uh, where the stove's going so what I've done is I've created a 10 mil air gap uh, so it's going to be 10 mil off the ground and give me an air gap and leave the gap at the top and that's what one of the websites I looked at that give you a guide for you know doing uh, chimneys and stoves and that so yeah this is good I've also got this underneath the half as well and a tile backer board as well, which the tiles are sat on. So I'm gonna, I've got some uh, adhesive somewhere and we're gonna get this glued up and screwed up in place. That's another job done out the way. Um, you know, it gives you all the sizes on this particular site of, of how much clearance and all that. All I know is, is that I've, I can't remember it offhand, but all I know is I've got, I've got gone over top over the board with it. So it'll be fine. Well, there we go, that's the, heat board all the way up. I've gone much higher than I needed to go but uh, I had some spare so I thought I'll take it all the way up so the flue's covered completely and in this corner there's going to be a cupboard anyway so I need to keep the heat off of that. Um, but yeah hopefully that should all all suit the purpose quite well then I'm going to have a finish going over that. Uh, I've got a few ideas so I'll keep that under me wraps until uh, I've come up with it rather than say what I may or may not be doing with it, but uh, I've got something up my sleeve for that. Anyway, it's that time of day where it's time for me to stop and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake. I'll speak to you all later. I'm working on the wall here today and the doors. Um, a bit of snow in the night, so I've just got to get my steps cleared off. Um, and uh, get my saw bench out of the van and set that up. But yeah, it's quite chilly out here today, but anyway, we won't let that bother us. Crack on, speak to you later. Yeah, lovely fresh morning. Um, just gonna cut some timbers around the front door here. Um, nice and bright, cold and fresh, but let's crack on. Yeah, and there you have it, working in the snow. Never done that for many years. Hello there. Uh, I'm just uh, getting the framework finished off around the front of the boat here. And that's what I was cutting on the saw. And I've cut that trim out there. That little 45 degree cut on there is to clear the weld where the hang wire there is welded onto the, the top of the around the boat so I'm just going to put some grip fill around there and some screws and get that fixed on and hopefully we get some doors yeah, on there. Just going to stick a bit of glue on because I've got to stick some finchula on the walls here um, and guess what, you know what this is? Yes it's the end of the roll of the finchula, um, not that I've finished finchulating at the moment because there's more to go on the top panels when I put them on but I needed to see where I was with, but anyway, we just about got enough to finish the whole boat off. So I took it off the roll and cut it up. So yeah, we've got to the end of the roll. So there we go. That's goodbye to the finchula. Um, right, yeah, so we'll just stick a bit of glue on here. I'll just use it out of the tub because I don't want to, I've got another tray, so a bit messy, but it'll be all right. Um, yeah, Finchula, here we come. Yeah, we had more snow again this morning. 
um, but it's not stopping me getting on I'm gonna just get this on then uh, I'm gonna get the saw bench in here because I'm gonna start fitting the doors and I've got to trim them all slightly to make them fit into the frame and it's a bit bloody cold out there so I thought I'll have a bit of a tidy up this end of the boat so I can get it in here and we'll have the saw bench in here Wednesday and I think uh, number 16 is going out to today so I'm sure I well, hope you'll enjoy some of that on there I did see a little preview of it this morning before it goes live um, but it all is what it is there's no there's no double takes here you just get what you give and what I do and that's it I think that's what makes it all more fun is seeing what it is. Right. Um, and yeah, Finchula, here we come. Let's stick this up. There we go, that's the first piece. Right, so Yeah, no, I am so glad that I've gone down the Finchlet route because um, it hasn't been a drag doing it at all. It's easy peasy, really. And there's no no mess, no wastage. All the little off cuts, they're all stuffed up in there. You don't need to waste any of it. It all gets used up on the boat. But anyway, speak to you all later. Well, I'm going to stop for a bit of lunch now, but. Uh, yeah, we're all framed up. Fincher that's in two lots, two thicknesses on the walls there. Got the doors in, got the saw bench in. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of bite to eat and then um, start getting the doors. So I'm starting to fit the doors now. And what I've had to do is put each door through the saw just around the edge to make a little rebate because that rebate is so uh, it sits in. So it's a full width of the door and rebates into the, the steel door. And I thought while I'm doing these doors, I might as well get the other doors out of the van, but uh, it's absolutely chucking it down out here now. I'll always remember uh, hanging these doors, won't I, in the bloody snow. But yeah, there we go. But I am going to go out and get the other doors because uh, I've got, while I've got the source set up for that thickness of the gauge of the steel, um, I'll go and get them in now and cut them there. Right, well. still snowing. Um, as you can see now, I've I've cut the rebate all the way round. Now I'm just going to try that one in. Um, excuse me, angle to go under the camera, but and uh, yeah, there we go. That fits in. What I've got to do on this, I've got to cut the steel out because I decided that I wanted bigger windows than what the the done for me so I've made the frame come up bigger so I have to get the cutter out and cut that steel out but anyway that's fitting in the rebate there now a bit of a day for the hanging doors but there we go um, then I've got to then rebate the front of it out to fit into the rebate of the steel there so anyway that's where we're at, at the moment but yes it's uh, absolutely coming down here but uh, Never mind. Yeah, morning everybody. Um, yeah, cold night last night. It's been snowing this morning, but um, I'm still on it. I'm uh, getting on with the doors here. Yeah, I just show you this. I'm just, you know, 
getting the lock sorted out to go in before I fit the door completely. Um, so yeah, this one's, well, the, the other one's fitted as well. But um, before I glue them in, I want to make sure all the metal work's cut out. Um, so yeah, a bit of a fiddle, but uh, I think we're getting there. Well, I've got the lock screwed in there now. And uh, got the keyhole. Yeah, through the keyhole. Um, that's all nicely lined up. Um, yeah, lock turns nicely. Um, but what I'm going to do is, because I've let the lock stick out like that, because I didn't want to let it in any further because of the metal, um, and also when the doors are shut, there's quite a sizable gap down between the doors, which I don't like. So basically, I've cut a strip here now, which I'm going to cut out the lock. And when I glue the door in, that's going to glue up there like that and it'll then close the, the joint up when the doors meet. So um, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, still snowing, um, but there we go. Fiddly, I'm just cutting out this strip for the, um, the lock plate. So I'm using the jigsaw with a very fine blade in it. Um, so once it's cut out it'll be a bit delicate before I get it glued in position. Well, just dry fitting the doors again. I'm going to have to take a little bit off the strip because the doors aren't quite that parallel. That's the steel doors that I'm working to but never mind. Snow's welcome. Yeah, I've had to rig up a tarpaulin here because I want to keep the weather off them doors because I want to get them glued up and fitted in today. So. Uh, of course, now that I've put the cover up, the snow's easing off, but uh, never mind. Um, Got to crack on with it, get it done. Tarped up out there now. Um, so that's going to give me a bit of protection so I can get these doors on there and get them all glued up. Yeah, good afternoon. It's still bloody cold up here, but anyway, I'm persevering with the doors. Um, they're nearly there, they're coming on. Um, I'm just finishing grinding off a bit of metal on the outside. Um, then hopefully I'll get some glass in later on and keep the bloody wind out tonight. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grind a bit more off. Not letting Lee call up now. What's going on? Right, see you in a minute. that should do anyway um, of course it's I'm a bit late for that kind of time of day but actually I'm gonna stop now and have my slice of cake and a cup of tea and uh, yeah I had to get on to eBay today order some more Mrs Crimbles because uh, we're running low on that so uh, that's all ordered ready for next week speak to you all later yeah well there we go First the evening, I've got the doors on, got the glass in, got the beads to put on the outside of the glass and finished titivating that, but basically they're on. I'm quite pleased with them actually. Um, yeah, so I've had enough now. I'm going to go and get in the warm, get some dinner on and um, watch a bit of TV. Then it'll be all back together and back on track tomorrow. Okay, good morning or lunchtime-ish Friday. Little update here, yeah, doors are all in now. Um, unfortunately, I've got the wrong bloody size bolts I brought with me. I've got six inch instead of four inch for the tops of the doors, so I can't bolt them up yet, but I've ordered some more, which should be coming on Monday. Um, yeah, I'm just getting the panel in, in now for the front. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, cause I've got the pump down in that side, I should make an excess panel there that will come off. Um, 
and then just with one this side as well just to check the filler pipe um, so yeah that's where we're at at the moment um, yeah and luckily uh, it's still cold and snowy here but uh, my neighbor or well, my neighbor my boat neighbor who's uh, got a, boat, a couple of boats down from me he funny enough he just watched the yeah, he was he's at home in where he lives in Market Harbour and he watched the uh, YouTube and messaged me saying that he got stuck in the snow going home last night but um, he said he's going to be in queue for tomorrow morning so uh, that's quite handy to give me a couple of bits I want and also bringing me a pint of milk and a loaf of bread so that's really good because I ain't got to go out so Aaron thank you very much for that little um, expedition for me thank you speak to you all later yeah, for a little walk just been to the bins put some rubbish in and um, obviously the dustman can't get down because it's so frozen up here um, here is the canal snowed over and frozen over um, but yeah even though the weather's not the weather's not affecting me getting on um, but yeah, i just come out for a little stretch and have a little look but yeah there we go looks like you can near on walk across that but we won't be trying it out um, there we go, I'm just going to go in the office now, see if there's any parcels for me and then get back to it. Well that was good just to get out for a little bit of a walk, picked up a few parcels from the office, more bits we need. Um, yeah, snowing again, but uh, now I've had a stretch, I'll get my spare seat out the van, my camping seat because my other one's broke. So. I'll just chuck that in the skip and uh, yeah it's time to go and put the kettle on and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Well I'm just about to um, start I'm going to fit on the side hatches here now I've done because we're, we're getting on well up that end of the boat so I thought I'd come down here and get these doors shaped in. Oh dear we've got snow again by the looks of it but never mind that's not going to deter me getting on is it i don't know what would actually stop me getting on really just crack on don't you anyway i'm gonna try and fit these doors well there's bits of wood i stuck on there to keep the doors shut certainly sticks hard yeah see that's split off and it's still got wood stuck on the door, so that's good old grip feel. Yeah, good evening. Um, cracking on, getting on with the side doors, side hatches, should I say. Um, just, uh, whew, where did we get to? Yeah, just rebating these frames out.
Yeah, he did marbles on the old saw bench. Yes, uh, that's the rabbit that I've took rebate. I've took out. Just going to clean that with a bit of sandpaper. That's so it clears the framework on the metal doors. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that little bit. I keep trying to show you all sorts of little bits, and then half the time I then forget to bloody start filming. Like, but uh, you all seem to be quite happy with uh, what we're doing, and. Yeah, thank you for all the lovely messages again and more people coming on board. I'm glad you're all enjoying it. And um, like you say, I do tend to go on YouTube a lot myself. It's better than the bloody telly, isn't it? Um, so yeah, now i just got to go and clean this up. As I say, although I varnished them doors, I knew that they would be having to be worked on, but the main thing is I've got the first few coats on there. So yeah, there's quite a lot of prepping work just to get them in the bloody metal frames like so. You know, anybody that's doing a boat up and hasn't got a lot of experience, you know, fair play to you all for having a go like, you know, because, you know, it must be quite daunting for some people if they haven't really got knowledge right but uh, the main thing with all of this is you've got to keep at it and it's like with the weather being so rough it ain't deterred me or stopped me at all like you know um, I just crack it on with it yeah hello there I'm still at it I'm just making the uh, made it making this moulding, I've just cut this out of a piece of oak and I'm just putting a little trim chamfer on it um, and that's going to go on this door glued on so it closes the the joint off nice and neat and tidy helps for the drafts as well because obviously a few drafts on doors can't help that but uh, yeah I thought I'd get that glued up and stuck on tonight um, can't do any more with the side hatches, but they're all ready to go in. So tomorrow, because I'm sleeping in that end of the boat, so I don't want to have the doors sort of half open where they're glued in. So I'll do that tomorrow. So yeah, we're just going to finish sanding this up by hand in. And um, get that glued on. Then I think uh, I might have a clear up, because as you can see, we're in a bit of a bloody pickle. Um, but you've got two choices, you can either work in a pickle and get some work done or have it nice and tidy and don't get bugger all done. Except keeping it tidy. Um, but I do like to clear up once I've had a good, good session. I sort of take me rubbish down nearly every day. When I'm done now. Friday, I forgot what day it is, but it's Friday today, so uh, you'll get this on the video next week. Cindy's now got the internet working properly, she's had a new route or something down home so she can actually get stuff loaded up a bit quicker now. And what I do, any bits of filming I do, I send it to her each day, like so. You can then put it on a on a MacBook and uh, do a set. I think she enjoys doing that as well. Like you know, right? I think that'll probably do. Just the back edge I'm taking off of the leading edge. But yeah, I hope that's going to go on there all. Yeah. Piece just to um, 
be a gauge for when I glue it down this, down there. I can just hold that piece up there and put the clamps on as we go. Yeah, that's. Um, Bit thick, we're a bit off of there. That'll do us. We've yeah, got a few clamps. I do moan and groan, but that's because I ache all the time, so getting down is bloody getting harder and harder, like, but. When I wake up in the morning, I'm stiff as a board. And that's just all par for the course, I suppose, as you get older. Putting the teeth on the saw. Um, right, we've got a little bit of glue here that I mixed up earlier. That's probably going to be all right, yeah. That'll be just nice, actually. It's nice. Well, quite, quite hard already. It's not hard, but it's just nicely do the trick nicely. Yeah. Now we're just going to get a bit of glue on here. Good old casket night. Yeah, for the first time since I've been here, I can actually lock lock the door tonight if I want to, but I probably won't bother. There's not a lot of point, really. I don't think we get anybody around here prowling about. Not really at the moment, because I think we're pretty well snowed in here, like, you know. As I say, I ain't been out anywhere. Well, hello there. I did get a little second wind and I did actually get cleared up. And then I also remembered that I just wanted to get a, a first coat of varnish on this. Uh, these bits here, these four pieces here I'm doing. These are the, the door lining to go around. So I thought I'd just get, get one on there before I call it quits for the night. Um, yeah. And, I've got the centre piece on the door as well, you know, the centre strip. And um, I've just given the, the doors a bit of a touch up where I had the machine them out to fit into the metal frames. But uh, they've all got slightly scratched where I've been working on, so they've all got to be flatted off. But I, they've had five coats on there, so they're quite well protected. But uh, I'll flat them all back with some wet and dry later on down the road like you know but uh yeah we've actually got the the key in the lock tonight um i'll source some more bolts for the doors which will be coming on monday or tuesday weather permitting i suppose um then i can get the top and bottom bolts on i was a bit particular on what bolts i wanted but i've got some nice stainless ones coming um i didn't want to put chrome on brass on there because uh, with the doors being left open that outside to the elements a bit the chrome is not really going to last that long so I've gone with a stainless finish on there um, but yeah that's it I'm going to call it a night now so I have my tea a, bit of, a little bit of TV give Cindy a call and then it'll all be a bit of shut eye and then uh, up and at it tomorrow, Saturday. See you all later. Good morning everybody. Um, off to a good start Saturday morning. I've just now um, glued in the side hatches. Um, got to do a bit more fitting work on them, but I need to get the glue going off first before I can do any more work on them. So that's what we're on this morning. Plenty of snow out there still. Saturday, getting on for lunchtime. I'm just um, doing this bit of panelling here for the, for the shower room. Um, this particular section, I wanted to straighten it up, so I've just packed it out because I've got a few. I've got the water pump, the pump out going there. I've got a vent for the 
composting toilet going out as well so I need a little bit more room behind it and also I wanted to straighten it up so it looked right with the, the towel rail that's going in. So yeah I've done that, doors are doing well down the end there. In a bit of hell of a mess here but we're getting on, side hatch doors are going on, um, just having a bit of tomatoes on toast, got the toast on the bread on the toaster there, this little thing works really well for your toast. So yeah, I'm going to start and have me a bit of a cup of tea and tomatoes on toast. Because I haven't been out in the van yet, so I'm sort of raking, you know, using up all what I've got here before I go and wait till the roads are really clear before I go out in the van because I don't want to get stuck in the snow. Um, but yeah, my Red Cross parcel arrived this morning. Aaron, my neighbour, brought me in some some bread and milk for me and um, a couple of other little treats, which is very good of him. Speak to you all later. Well, I'm just out for a little wander. Luckily, the water's come back on now, so everything's starting to defrost. And this is an icicle hanging off the back of the boat here. We're all, obviously the temperature's gone up a bit, so we're all dripping now. So that's good. But there's still plenty of snow to go yet. Outside, I've just come out to check out the the side hatch doors. I've just been putting a bit of uh, filler around the joints like. Um, so yeah, that's how they are from the outside. I'm quite pleased with. I've got a bit more work done on the inside yet. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, side hatch doors in. Been doing other bits and pieces today as well. Inside, um, been defrosting here a bit, but now it's getting cold again. And uh, anyway, I'm going to get on inside because it's that time of day. It's time for a cup of tea and a slice of cake. I got. I got waylaid there a bit. I've just took the tarpaulin off the front because I've finished with that now. And um, there we go. There's the doors from the outside. Um, but yeah, I am going to get in there and get that cup of tea because I've got cold. I've got no bloody gloves on. In the so, um, the lining round the hatch here now. I've got the the bottom and the top glued and cramped up. And then I've just mitered these side ones in. Um, Sorry if it's a bit dark, but uh, that's the conditions we're in at the moment. The light's down there, but I can't be bothered to move it just up here for this bit. Yes, I've just about had enough now, but um, I just what I'm doing over here now is I'm just working out where my walls are going. This would be like the wall for the bedroom. That's going to be then the washing machine cupboard then I need to cut these panels so that when the walls are in if I want to take the panel out to put extra weights in the side I can do that like you know so I'm just getting them work that's where I'm at at the moment just sussing that out um I'll get that I'm not doing that tonight I'll do it tomorrow I'm just I'm just biding me time because out here I've got the the hatch frame and it's all clamped up but uh, I want to get shut up now and get bloody warm right so I'm just waiting for the glue to go off and then uh, I can take the cramps off and shut the door up and call it a night. <laughs> 